Hey guys, Valkyrie743. Um, got my NZXT G10 in, and I uh, just want to do a quick video of it. Um, I'm using a 780 Ti reference edition at stock clocks. Um, right now, I am running Valley for the past 20 minutes, and it has not gone over uh, 43 uh, Celsius. And it's been looping. I have it on a whole high, 1920 by 1080, 8x anti aliasing. But um yeah, has not gone over forty three. It usually stays at forty two and then it'll just jump back and forth. Um but yeah, this thing is amazing. I have it set to a, like a quiet profile, uh pole configuration on the X forty Kraken from NZXT. And I'm just blown away at how cool this is. And it's pretty quiet. I'm the fan makes a little kind of a whine, I guess. I don't know, I'm really picky, so I might change that out to a Gentle Typhoon or something, but being that it's in a pole configuration, that could be why. I noticed that if I put fans and push like my uh, Mega Halum, it uh, it's much quieter. When I put this fan on pole, it, it's freaking loud. Um, but yeah, um, as you can see, I have RAM heat sinks on here. I had VLM ones, but they uh, were a little too tall, and they hit this, and I just took them off. And um, when I put my finger on the chips, they're, they're toasty, so I do recommend, these will, I think, like, 90, 80 cents a piece off of frozencpu.com. So I got, my, my, um, my GPU uses 12 of them, so I just got 12 of them. They came with thermal pads, these little peel-off tape, thermal tape pad things. So no adhesive, so you don't have to worry about that. And I think they're doing a good job. Um... Because they're pretty warm, so I couldn't imagine if, like, without these on, they'll probably, like, the chip itself would get probably hotter. Um, as for the VOMs, when I put my finger on top, like, on the back of the VOMs, they feel about the same as they did with the stock cooler. So, you know, I'm not too worried about it, but, um, I am getting my, uh, ACX cooler from EVGA, the Titan Black Edition that fits on reference 780 Ti's because they share the same PCB. So I'm probably, when I get that Friday, I'll probably throw that on there. So both my RAM and my VLMs are cool. Um, I have some sort of passive as well as active um, thermal, you know, kind of dissipation or whatever you call it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just blown away a whole low my time saw in Valley. I'm going to go do Heaven benchmark in a second. But I thought I'd just do this video. And also, I don't know if I can make this out in this video. Um, my screws were, I think, perfect. They didn't, they weren't too long, I mean, they weren't too short, and I think they did really well. This back plate has a foam little thing on the back of it, and it's kind of thick, so I think that was one of most of the issues, I think, when you tried, when you went to mount this, you had to push down on it, and the foam is pretty firm, and I think they use it for, like, a tension so you have, so it's not, A, it's not pushing metal against the components, but also the, um, it gives tension, so when you screw these on, it has kind of a, I don't know, like a pull to it, if I'm phrasing that right, but um, I think they could have shaved it off just a little bit, because it is pretty thick, and um, they could have made it just a little bit thinner, and that probably would have solved some of the issues some people are having with uh, screws being too short. But, as you can see, I don't have any board warping and uh, bending that I could tell. And I was I spent like 10 minutes just fine-tuning these, not to over-tighten them. And so far, so good. Oh, and I do want to point out one flaw or downfall. When you take off the stock clue for the, I don't know about EMD cards, but for um, this card, um, you're not going to be able to see it. My camera is being bad. There's a little screw right here that for the I.O. plate. The... IO shield or whatever you call it. There's one screw that ho hooks that connects to the heatsink on the corner. Um, that also holds on to this, you know, the dual bracket. And uh, I would, le I need to go to Home Depot and buy like a little nut and then screw that back in there because when I plug this into the the IO thing, it kind of sags a little, and I don't. It's making me a little nervous. I don't like that. They, um, I wish they could have included just like a little extra nut 
so you could put the screw and then just put like a washer and a nut underneath it so it doesn't sag because I have this you know the weight of the board and I don't, you know, I don't like that but other than that I think it's a 10 out of 10 um but yeah uh, sorry for me rambling I'm all excited so uh, if you have any questions I'll be posting pictures and I'm going to try to get an IR gun, an IR thermometer, and test these uh, without the cooler and with the ACX uniplate on it. Someone already posted temps with the plate all the way on it, but um, I'll try to do... I think he had a 780, so I had a, the TI and using the, the TIs have a couple more VOMs chips, and I think they won, you know, the called ones at a higher wattage than the you know, regular 780, so... I'll try to get a hold of that and post some results, but other than that, NZXT gets big thumb up. It's awesome. But yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, if you have questions, just post.